Morning everyone, Susan here. I decided to redo the video on my wisdom journal as I've had some questions and it was just easier to go through the journal and do a better flip, answer a few questions as I go through instead of the music, which doesn't really do much for me either when I'm listening to them. I want to hear someone tell me why they did certain things. This is a 6x4 journal made with two signatures. See if I can show you that real quick. Where they start. There's two. It began with five signatures, but the way I journal gets thick real fast. So I took the others out and I'll just use them on a, another journal. Lots of chunky charms, dangles, title, wisdom journal, ravens stand for wisdom, little crowns, little dangle charm, hanging off, little bull nose clip, and actually I think that's supposed to be holding this envelope in the back. That's okay. So it, the heaviness, when I hold the journal up, the signatures kind of slide around, so at some point I may redo the baker's twine that's holding them in. But maybe not, because most of the time you're not holding your journal up like this. You're laying it down and you're writing. But it actually does fit up in there like that when it's lying flat. I started this journal in 2013, called it my happy project. And um, it was actually July. 2013. I put different is good because I wanted to do my own thing after watching the YouTube videos and I said I'm just going to do it. However it turns out it'll make me happy. So I hit more paper clips, charms hanging off right there. Little pockets, hidden messages inside. Love the seam binding the way it looks. Make little tucks. These little Tim Holtz paper clips so cute. I really like them. Do some doodling, drawing, lists, journals I want to make. Highlighted them off as I made them. As you can see, there's still quite a few more that I want to make. Flips with tuck spots. More paper clips holding in. Washi tape, lace on the edges of the page. My son John put his business card in there. Name tags and picking up Jackson at Bible study. Had to have a name tag to pick him up. Godiva chocolates, love them. Attached to a little map page. Came in the box. It was a gift. More small pages that I like because I don't. Some days you know you just don't feel like writing a lot, so I do it on a small page. Feel like writing a lot? Just keep going. Little did a distress doily. This I did a little vellum cover. This was a label on a bottle that I just thought was so unusual. So I soaked it off, but it was a little sticky, so I needed to protect it, so I did it like that. You still see it. Like it. Granddaughter Gabrielle. Right on the back about that particular granddaughter and what she's up to at the time. More dangles. Upside down pockets with tucks. Receipts that I write on. Fold back up. S for Susan stamp. And I love this. This is a like a canvas sticker which I thought was really unique. I need to find some more of them. I'm not sure where I got them but I've used every one. Oh, here's my favorite raven stamp, which i got to find. I've lost it somewhere in the piles. But, quote the raven, nevermore. A hey, girl and Poe, of course. Another little flip with some tags off of something I purchased. A little gypsy moon business card. I keep all the unusual business cards for inspiration and just because they're cute. This is a little old piece of ephemera that I folded over and made a tuck spot. 
out of. This is packaging that came off of all this seam binding, which I thought was cute. Little music with a little crown attached. Instant ephemera. A little note for my granddaughter I kept for years and decided to stick it in there. More little flips and more flips and more tucks. Sometimes I go back and color the pages afterward to add a little variety. Sometimes I don't. Flaps. Recipe for cinnamon rolls that my gramp used to make. Kept it. I'm not much of a cook, so I just probably have about three recipes that I care about. Some more balloon. And tried stamping on muslin, which I really enjoy. It's not as hard as I thought. More clips. Little keychain. My granddaughter Gabrielle, she saw that in there, she'd die. She doesn't like that picture. More upside down tuck so that the streamers hang down and you have more at the bottom hanging out. Other granddaughter, Lauren. So cute, so sweet. Another little bird that I got, I think at Michael's, and it had these little charms already attached, which I thought was really cute. Matte page, more receipts, wash taped in, grandson Jackson. I have that clipped in with a bull nose that I've added ribbon. Little charm hanging off. It says journey. I thought that was cute because he's riding his bicycle. Not much, probably wasn't going to be a long journey, but to him it was. My grandmother, my mother, not my grandmother, his grandmother. Pictures. My son and his wife. Upside down, don't care. But I thought it was funny because. It, the, it came out upside down, so I wrote upside down in it. I guess I could write all the way up there, upside down. <laughs> Sister Amy, more flips. Birth announcements from Noah, Zedlet. Cutest little baby. And that's the first signature. And then the second signature, uh, I got a little more adventurous and tried to put some ribbon and charms along the edge. Well, it got kind of wild, but I like the way it sounds, and I'll do more of that. My son, Sean, who's young, he hates that picture. He'd die if he saw that one in there. It's funny what you say. Poems that I like, more tuck spots in the envelopes, window pockets that we all do and love, more little journal spots. folds, lace on the edge, and I put a little antique hat pin in there, which I thought was cute. My sister Molly loves blue and green and water. She lives off a lake, so I put the mermaid picture over here. We took a three-week road trip to New York. These are some things from the Grand Central Station and such, and that's Molly, so little surprise picture underneath there. That is made out of cork. I thought that was really cute. Sister Anne. A little matte page. More bling. Now would you look at that bling? Isn't that gorgeous? It says create the world you want to see. I want to see a more beautiful world so that's my contribution to beautiful. I just thought it was. Of course, then there's the other side, the drinking and the smoking and the forget her name. <laughs> but I like the contrast. More paper clips, holding in little tuck spots, bull nose with more little ephemera. I also do geocaching, which is like a treasure hunt and Sometimes I find things in the cache that I like, then I just add them in too. Added a little charm to the bullnose dangle. 
bike time. This was telling myself I need to get back out there exercising. So far it hasn't worked, but I still tell myself. And my, my niece, more flips, notes from family, tucks, more family, Ashley Lynn and her baby, so cute. He has the longest eyelashes, that little boy. And this came out of an Altoid can. Love the sound of it, how it sounded. Wasn't sure I could ride on it, but I did. Worked just fine. It's on a little matte page with a little clothespin. With a, I'm not sure what that is. I think a mean frog of some kind. I save all these little cute things that make me smile. So when I go back through the journals, it makes me laugh. My grandson Jackson, another paper clip holding it in. More ephemera attached, just like a little card. I've kept clothes with a bunch of little things inside. Charm, paper clip, little bookmark. More of my family. My son and his wife, my grandson. And would you look at that? All that on one page. Now that's ridiculous. You know, sometimes we've got to stop. You don't have to put everything in one journal. They can go into another journal. I'm learning that. These are movie tickets, flip down, all these receipts. Wrote about it. Flip it up. More tuck spots, receipts. Estee Lauder smell good, which made my journal smell like Estee Lauder perfume, which I like. Put that in there. Little charm hanging off. More flips, more Estee Lauder. Paper clip holding it together. I loosened some of these up so I could do it with this uh, flip. It'd be a little easier. Now I have to go back and tighten everything up. Let me put that one behind. I kind of like that tag. Old distressed tag with a picture on it. So I think someone made that one for me. Very cute. Chewies, fish with sunglasses, another cutie, more receipts, Paris, bookmark. My sisters and I plan on going to Paris together. There's five of us. This is to remind me to do that. Here is a little tuck, I mean a tag, and I've started adding charms with the ribbon, writing on them. Some little corners on that one, and a feather, reminding me of the raven. And I also like to have little hidden spots with surprises. So this was just a little piece of cardboard and opened up. There's feather. Wrote about. Found it with the walk on my with my sister. And then finally, bull nose clip holding this in is a uh, envelope that I thought was just so pretty. The texture of it. And I added the ribbon closure. Of course, there's something inside, a little note to myself, little tuck spots in here, a little dried flower on that. This just holds it closed. We'll note, uh, we'll clip it in there. And also I have started um, drying flowers in the microwave, which is so easy, it takes about three or four minutes to do, and then just gluing them in. I've been putting the packaging over it to kind of protect it and it seems to be working pretty well. I like it. And then I always add some kind of little pen flap for uh, my pen to stay on so easily found. That's the journal. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.